Welcome to Tuit Education Solutions Be Extraordinary in 99 Seconds. This mini lesson shows two ways to make a photo background in notebooks. Many times you'll want to have a background picture instead of just having a regular white area in your notebook page. So let's see how this works. I'm going to make a new page and the first thing we'll need to do is choose a picture. So I have a picture here that I have chosen from publicdomainphotos.com and the first thing I'll need to do is right mouse click it to bring up my drop down menu so I can save picture as and then I will save it as field 23 in my graphics folder. I'll click save then I'll go back into notebook select the properties tab go into fill effects image fill and now I'll browse for that file that I've already saved and then click open. But what happens is sometimes it will start to fill in as a tile or sometimes it'll fill in too large. I don't have direct control over how large it is. So let me make another page and show you another way of bringing in a picture. That's going to be with a drag and drop. So I'll go back into my web browser, click on the picture to get the actual picture and I'll need to scroll down a little bit and I'm just going to do a simple drag and drop. So I've highlighted the picture, brought it into notebook, and I can now move the picture exactly where I want it to go. And in this case, I want to click the drop down, go to locking, and lock it in place. And so that is two ways that you can make a photo background in notebook. Please share and link to this video, be extraordinary, and get to it.